The year 1896 is very significant for India and rest of the world as far as the Limerius cinematograph is concerned. India was ruled by British Empire with a series of crises like freedom movement, flood in Bombay residency, famine in rest of India, loot of bags of grain in Sholapur, resulting into fire by British police against looters. In the wake of all the flood, famine and fire, Lee cinematographer Lumria reached India. The Lumria cinematograph was the culmination of a long journey that began with the oriental art of the shadow play and camera obscura developed in Renasha, Italy. Early experiments with photograph led to recording of humans and animals in motion had surprisingly created the illusion of movement. In the parallel development, the study of the optical phenomenon of persistence of vision resulted in a series of inventions with Limerie's cinematography that marked the beginning of modern cinema. Hardly six months later, the Limerie brothers, Louis and Auguste, had their first public show in Paris on December 28, 1895, at one franc a ticket for watching this interesting show. The cinematography made its advance to India. The program consisted of films durations of a minute or two of workers leaving the Lumrier's photographic producing factory in Lyon, Auguste and Madame Lumrier feeding their babies on a beach that gave a lot of pleasure to the audiences with the marvelous realism of an unmistakably genuine ocean in all its immensity and restlessness. The arrival of the train virtually on camera made the audience gasp, fearing that it would burst through the screen. So amazing it was as one was watching a magic. In just five years, Lumerie brothers earned $10 million from their cinematograph. To see the success and huge earnings, they planned a major worldwide exploitation of their invention. Gradually, Lumerie brothers got well equipped with and they were sweeping across Europe, South and North America, Oceania and the Orient screening their films as well as shooting face material. The local scenes offered a well amount of delightful with their familiarity and stunned them with the speed with which they were included in the next change of program. Lumerie brothers and team were successful to put their trust in audience that the moving pictures were real reproductions of happenings and persons. On July 7, 1896, Limerius brother's assistant, Marius Yestier, who was on his way to Australia, but rented the first cinematography show in Bombay at Watson's Hotel. Watson Hotel was Jane of Europeans only. Mark Twain was staying at same hotel. He described the building as something like a huge bird case because of its iron frame structure. An advertisement in the Morning Times of India invited the inhabitants of Mumbai to come and witness the marvel of the century, the wonder of the world. The first days of program featured six items. The titles of cinema shown were entry of cinematograph, arrival of train, the sea bath, a demolition, leaving the factory and ladies and soldiers on the wheels. The entire show lasted less than an hour, with each film was 17 meters long. The audience was with batted breath and cheered lustily at the end. The showings continued at Watson's hotel for a week. The audience was aroused with a zeal and a sea amount of passion and romance enveloped the Bombay audience, resulting into arrangement of show of films away from Watson hotel into novelty theatre for regular show. It had two shows daily. After a month's profitable run, alternating between Watson's Hotel and Novelty, the cinematographic showing came to an end on August 15, 1896. The success of Limerie's leading business had planted the first seed of a new industry in emerging educated middle class of India. The advent of Limerie's cinematography was thus occurred in India.